Hello cookies, it's Siri, I'm back and today I'm going to do the video that you requested meaning the eye look and the green lips that so many of you requested you see I'm listening and I also have a surprise towards the end of the video so stay tuned if you want to know what is going on to start off, I'm going to take this Meet Matte Nude palette from The Balm and I've been really loving this palette lately. I've been using it in every single look and it's so weird, right? Because it's so not like me, but I just really love the quality of these eyeshadows. And with this Makeup Addiction Cosmetics brush, actually it's probably the wrong brush, but yeah, I'm just like, I see the brush, I use it. So I'm going to take this shade here that is right in the middle. It's called Matte Wood. And I'm going to define my crease with it. So I'm just defining my crease and making the outer V here. So this basically doesn't have to be super perfect because the glitter is going to go on top anyway. So even if you go a little bit down there, no one is going to see it. So I'm just applying it on the crease and the outer V like so. And then I'm also going to apply it under the eyes. Next I'm taking this shade here and it is Matte Sing and I'm just using it to uh, blend uh, the darker shade a little bit more. And this look is actually super easy because there's not much really going on. I'm also applying it under my eyes so basically I'm using the same brush and I just kind of like squeeze it and I apply it under the eyes. I just realized that I actually applied a primer on this eye, but I was too eager to film, so I forgot to apply a primer on this eye. Uh, <laughs> because it was like, why is it harder to blend and why don't the colors show? And I thought, oh yeah, I forgot to put the primer on. Yeah, that's so like me. But anyway, I just blended everything as much as I could. And then now taking my Illuminizer from the balm and I've been really, really liking this uh, highlighter. I'm just going to apply it under my brow bone just to create some more highlight and then just blend. Onto the glitter part, I just dipped this Sugar Peel lip brush in some Duraline and then in some glitter. It's just some random glitter, really there's no brand. And I'm just going to dab and I'm just dabbing it so there is no special way I'm doing it. So when it comes to like the part that is on the eyelid, it's just about dabbing. But then when it's going to be where I'm making the crease and I'm going to be like really careful, like, you know, just dab like this across the crease, like making a motion like this. And then that's why I like this brush because it's round uh, at the end so it can get you a really clean precise cut crease with glitter. For the eyeliner I'm going to use this liquid eyeliner from the balm called Shring and one of you actually noticed that I wrote it in the description box. Thank you for reading the description box that it was a liquid eyeliner. There is no particular way how I apply liquid eyeliner. I guess I just apply it like everybody else does. Onto the lips, I just used this Kaylin Cosmetics number no. 9 uh, Metallic Tint Star Wave. It's a really long name, liquid lipstick. So this is actually a metallic liquid lipstick. And um, I really like it. I think that it's really good quality. And apparently you, Cookies, liked it a lot as well. And yeah, it's just basically a liquid lipstick. You were like, oh, show us the lip look. And the lip look is just this. <laughs> so there's nothing that interesting about it. For some weird reason, this lipstick makes my teeth look really white. I don't know why, but I really like that. And this is the final look. As you can see, there's nothing that crazy or really special or complicated about it. So I was really surprised when you cookies were like, oh, make a look out of this, make a look out of this. I was like, okay, ooh, wow. On to the surprise for those of you who stayed until this long. Hey, cookies. Uh, yeah, so I'm not gonna like beat around the bush because I don't like that. So 
Ta-da! Now, of course, it's a hot mess, but yeah, this is how my hair looks like now. And uh, I know it is kind of brassy because it just got bleached, but it hasn't been toned properly yet or properly anyway, whatever. It's actually still swollen here, here, especially on the side. You can, you can kind of see that it goes boing here on the side and a little bit on this side, but mostly on this side here because I had an allergic reaction to the bleach. So my head was like swollen like this for the last uh, three days, I think. So yeah, that hasn't been <laughs> that good, but otherwise this is my new hairstyle. And uh, John shaved my head a month ago exactly today. Yes, he shaved my head. The video is coming soon, actually. We filmed the whole process. And the video is not that happy because I was kind of really sad that we had to shave my head. It's not something I wanted to do. I was very against it. I didn't want to do it and I knew I would look super ugly um, after I've shaved my head. But that was the only way because, you know, things happen. That will also be another video. But uh, yeah, anyway, this is how my hair looks like now. And I know I keep on touching it because... It has looked really nice the whole morning and yesterday and the day before and I mean since, you know, like, you know, the last two weeks it has looked kind of nice and now it decides to look really bad on camera, like, why? It doesn't even look this bad in real life and it looked much better this morning when I woke up. So now I'm just gonna like mess it up. I have kept it a secret basically because of many reasons. One. I wasn't comfortable at first. Now I really love it. Now I really, really love it. And I feel like it's my favorite hairstyle that I've ever had. But at first I hated it. And also I wanted to make an experiment and see how many videos I could go without you actually knowing that I had no hair. Because I wanted to kind of make a, a kind of point, I guess, to say that you know what you see on social media, what you see on YouTube and things like that, it's so manipulated as in it's so enhanced or not enhanced or there are things that are happening that you don't see and it's just kind of like a small you know be careful cookies what you see on uh, social medias because what you see is not always the truth and people can be really good at hiding what they don't want you to see i wanted you to see me with hair so i was wearing my wigs but the truth is, I had no hair for the last month. I found a way to make my hair grow really, really, really fast because, yeah, like I said, this was shaved a month ago and now it is about four centimeters. It doesn't look like it's four centimeters because it is brassy, so it's almost the same color as my skin tone, so it looks short, but it is actually really, really long like if you can see here it's like way above my fingers and uh, that's because i actually developed like a really strong technique combo to grow it like things that i was eating things that i was doing to the hair every single day so that i managed to grow it long i mean <laughs> long it's not long but i managed to grow it really quick in one month so i'm going to make those videos as well i made a hair mask that I've never seen before online, I had some special techniques and tricks and tips that I used and the hair grew. So that is something to expect in next videos, how to grow your hair really quick. And that's the end of this video, I hope you cookies enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you don't want to miss the upcoming videos. Let me know in the comments down below if you kind of guessed through the way I was wearing my wigs that I actually had no hair under because if you look closely you can actually see and uh, yeah so that's it for this video and I will see you cookies at the next one. Bye bye! Apply it under my eyes. My camera died, but I haven't done anything much really. I just tried to put the pigment on my lower waterline, the green pigment I have in my inner corner.